The Dyson V11 Absolute Plus is Dyson's flagship cordless vacuum cleaner. The G-Tech Airman is G-Tech's only flagship cleaner. Their flagship cordless cleaner. I'm going to attempt in this short video to maybe do a little bit of the verses between these two very different machines. We can't do everything, but we'll give what we can a go. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, the G-Tech Air Ram 22 volt corded cordless vacuum cleaner versus the Dyson V11, which has a bit of cardboard stuck in its, there we go, look. Cordless, oh, that's been down a while. Look, there's little dust bunnies. Oh. Yeah. Heart little dust bunnies. Cordless vacuum cleaner. Both very expensive, although this is more expensive than this. Although with this, you do get the handheld as well, which I haven't got. So, for this video, we won't look at those. We shall concentrate purely on what happens down here. Now, both companies spend millions probably billions worldwide on advertising, each saying that their cleaner is the best, that our cleaner is the one you want, that their cleaner is worse. And it all becomes very tiresome, really. Now, I'm not here to argue with any of that, because, let's be honest, I'm me. But I'm going to do what I can to see if one does seem to be better than the other. Now, we are a little bit jaded, because this actually has some suction. This has 500 odd watts in max. This has 100. So, to make it fair, I should be using this only in its eco setting, which this is now in. Which is still probably going to be more powerful than the G Tech, I'll be honest. But that is all I can do. I'm also going to leave the head in the middle setting so it can sort itself out. So, well, the first thing is, obviously, this stands up very well by itself. That, oh, God, I caught that, doesn't. This also parks very well into a small... Oh, gosh. Ow! Oh, God. Into a small compact package with really easy to use button push. This is as big as it is, really. So, this you can take the battery off just like that. This you need to remove two screws, three screws, and the battery will pop out. Um, this turns on and stays on. This you have to hold the trigger. This you can't turn the brush roll off. This you can if you jam it and then leave it turned off. Otherwise you can't either. This is quite flexible. Ish. This is quite flexible. Ish. <laughs> They've both got pros and cons. They are the same height though. Oh, if I had to talk you up a little bit for this bit. They are the same height. Dyson perhaps a little bit taller. This is ever so light in your hand. This is very heavy indeed. Well, let's pick up. The G-Tech is heavier. The G-Tech has a lot of weight down here. The Dyson, you're already holding the weight. You're already there. So, what we are going to do, well, say first, we haven't got much to do really, because there's only so much I can do, is a dirt pickup test on carpet and hard floor. 
And on the carpet and hard floor we have rice and shreddies. Some shreddies are crushed up, some are not. You get over there. So we should do one forward and one backwards pass. Ah, no, one, one. And one backwards pass and see which is better. Well, actually, that's a win for the air ram. Because not only has it not really left any behind it, unlike the Dyson, which, if I can just check that you can see, that has just a little bit here. Dyson didn't get it all up in its first half. And it's belched out loads there. Compared to... That's got it. Oh. Turn that off. So... I mean, okay, eco isn't helping. If I stick this in boost, straight up. But we are doing a comparison. So in the Dyson's lowest setting, even its highest setting, it's built some. It didn't really win on the rug. In fact, also, I think the GTEC rooms better. I had to do it that way because that's the way the pile goes. Yes, the GTEC Air Ram does groom better than the Dyson High Torque Head. Right, let us move over to this part, which you can see, for some hard floor action. And in an identical vein, one forward and back pass. Oh, that's noisy. The Dyson's being let down by the rubber boot right, on the back of its head. That's what that identical line there is. But with the top, ooh, ooh, this is the on those. Where the Dyson design is letting it down. Whereas the G Tech, if I just bring a bit more rice forward. <sighs> Picks it up first time. And that is purely because obviously the G Tech, the dirt goes in there and is flung straight into there. There is next to no suction on this thing. This has to go all the way up the wand to the main unit, which is why on Eco it's not doing particularly well. So that is a plus to the GTEC Air Ram on both counts actually. So I'm going to clear up all this mess with the winning vacuum and then we'll do another test. Oh, as soon as I lift it off now, look, that picks up nothing. Oh, it's, it's pushing a lot of the forward. Sounds terrible on the hard floor as well. From the carpet, completely beaten different story. Literally, everything up, first pass. Whereas on the hard floor, you can hear it. Oh. Yeah. It's much better.
better on carpet than hard floor. But what's it like on a deeper pile of carpets, I wonder? Well, I have old trusty the deep pile carpet right here with me. Dice are listed on Eco. The G-Tech isn't because it doesn't have an Eco setting. Put the G-Tech there. Oh, it lights up there. That's nice as a push because it's gliding across the pile. So that gives a fair performance from the G-Tech. And the Dyson, yeah, that works very well on Eco. Where the Dyson falls down is on a higher setting. You see that? That's slowing down, that's the start. And on the unboxing video for the Dyson, I got loads of rubbish about, oh, this isn't stuck down. That's why it's not moving at all. Not only is it, there you go, oh, that's stopped again. With, if I come down so low that I can sort of pick it up and help it, I'll boost. No, I'm just going to snap that. Game over. So, yeah, not the best performance on the old deep power carpet from the dice. So, where's G Tech with its single power setting? Plowed through it a tree. So, it's a bit 50 50 really. In fact, if anything, the G Tech probably is taking a bit more off the wind than Dyson. Because the Dyson on Eco is the most comparable with this. I think we should step it up a notch and now. We'll look at emptying actually first. Let's look at how to empty these. Obviously with the dice you have to take the wand off. Then push the red lever, which is getting a bit stiff on mine actually. And then there you go. The filter is fairly clean. I, ha I, I did vacuum it off with this video. And as we can see, it's actually quite a few whole shreddies left in there. With the Gutek, we need to lift up the bin. We'll see that in there, look, oh my gosh, it's full of dust. And as you can see there, look, where it's all falling out of where it shouldn't be. It's supposed to hold it like that. Then we'll simply tip this out onto the floor. And look, we can do this little slider, which doesn't really do a heck of a lot. What we can also do is have a look at the JX filter. Ooh, so definite plus point for the Dyson there on filtration. But look at all this mess. Whatever shall we do? I think that we should change tack and do that test again if I can remember how to fit the bin back. But with the Dyson on boost. Because the problem with the Dyson V11 is that all of this marketing material is you know, that says it's the best. It's the best on boost. On Eco, the GTEC Air RAM does take it. On boost, however, well, let's see. Still very comparable, still some rice left behind the Dyson. I think Hunter's moving too fast for it to be able to, you know, get the dirt up the one. Let's give you the edge bits of it stuff. And the Dyson still left rice. Oh, it's flicked it out from under the head. Look at that. Shocking. That's not very good at all. So, I think the G-Tech Air Ram, as much as I am surprised at it, you know, with what we can test, obviously, it has no tools, it has no dedicated hard floor mode, it has no bus control. 
stay up, really great. A little bit of stick back. This is not really neat and clean. That'll be a future video. <laughs> We're getting right to the edge, ready to get a little bit. Just moon last in there. Very, very deep track marks. And I'll be honest, I found that the Dyson isn't the best at carpet grooming. Oh, let's, on, right, uh, let's, let's put it in plus. It's doing it. Okay, let's skip the top. I can see the ripples where it's not quite getting it as it should. And in fact, actually, to be fair, the Tinko Pure One grooms really well as well. At least it would do if it actually wasn't. There, that's not the bash. Oh, if it had a battery fitted, even. <laughs> Be prepared in your videos. I can't push it. quick go against the GTEC Air Ram with the Tinko on auto and the Air Ram on its normal setting. I think the filter's clean. You know what this is like. Ooh. Let me get this cleaned up so it's as peak as it can. I'll clean the GTEC up as well, give it a fair chance, dump all of its dirt back on the floor and we'll give the Tinko a go. Be nice. There we go, look, so both are spotless. Tinko's filter has been vacuumed off, as has the GTEx. Oh, so leave the Tinko on auto, the air ram as it is. In fact, I can turn the Tinko on and leave it on. Oh, God. Ah, no, don't no, cheat. Wow, apart from that little bit of cardboard, bang, first time, let's do that again. Look, it's like a really big wide core this vacuum tube. Well, that was interesting, actually. I'm quite glad I did that. Right, let's sum up. So what have we learned? I'm quite surprised, actually. The Dyson didn't really do better than any of them. Especially considering its price tag. I mean, you know, it's a bit difficult to compare because obviously this, I've got the fluffy for this. It's, it would kick that's ass on hard floor. But it's not a fair comparison to make with it. See, this is why comparisons are always bollocks. Because you cannot directly compare everything. So we've done it the best as we can. On Eco, this really struggles to pick up anything more than dust. As we found out with all the rice. Just can't pick it up the pole. It didn't work on the carpet. On the backward stroke. On Boost, it didn't really do much better because it clamps itself down too much. So, there's that. I was quite impressed and surprised by this actually. I mean, the problem with its floor head is because it's a bit, you know, diggy. God, stay at that. Ooh. It grips to the carpet and makes it really difficult to push. And also, I would imagine that, yes, this is why this is, this ruins every argument I have for this vacuum cleaner. The filter is already quite dusty with just that little bit of shreddies dust. Apart from that though, straight up because it would have 
risen up a little bit. But even normal, it probably would have been okay on low. I actually take back most of the negative things I've said about this. I mean, obviously, if you've watched the video where I've prepared this with the hair and the brush roll, I still think very, very little of them. But they have their fans, and actually, it did very, very well in everything we've thrown at it. The filtration, terrible. The cyclone, that's everything through. Check your filter. As regularly, you just have to check it with this. To call it the vacuum cleaner is very misleading because it's not. It is a carpet sweeper with a small motor to help with the dust. But it did do a good job, didn't it? So, I think I'm going to have to say that this one, purely because this would have ramped itself up quite high with the rice. I mean, I don't know if... Oh, let's just tip a bit out. And you've got to open it. You can see the screen actually. Keep an eye on the screen as I do this. Let it run down. There we go. Yeah. It would have done that because that's what it's designed to do. Really, I mean, if we put a bit more down. And if I take it off of auto, and leave it on low, it's still got it all in one part. Didn't see any of that, hang on. such a straightforward pass, was it? I think it did better than the Dyson, though. Oh, I guess we're going to have to... I'll get me by the... There are no whole shreddies left now. <laughs> so, Dyson head in the middle. Power on Eco. Set the Tinko up for Eco. Low power. Let's drop. Oh. It's that sodding rubber boot on the back of that head. Yes, Tinko, pure one. I haven't done the Versi video yet. This isn't supposed to be that. <laughs> few victors here, I think, although again, <sighs> full of dust, ruined every argument I have for it, yes, G-Tech Air Ram, not as, but Mark II anyway, not as bad as I thought, fairly decent bet, considering that £600, this is about £500 and something pounds. And I think these are normally about 399 normally with the cylinder, they're always on offer. Never buy one of these at full RRP, and I'd be like walking into DFS on the one day of the year that they don't have a sale. It'd be very, very silly. So, there we go, really. Not, not, a, not a loss of point in this video, but as I had all three premium cordless vacuum cleaners, I thought I was sitting in my chair and show you how they work and actually I am a little bit converted with the G-Tech Air Ram Mark II this is my first time using one actually very impressed so there we go folks thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed more vacuum cleaner fun to come and I shall see you soon bye bye